Hello everyone, this is the video about my sleep mobile. I tried uploading a really cool video yesterday where I had really good pictures of all my stones, had good descriptions of all of them, but apparently YouTube wouldn't let me upload it or something. I'm not really sure, so I guess I'm just going to do a talking run through right now. Here's the full view of my sleep mobile. Just have it hanging from the windowsill right now so I can show it to everyone. I'm in my mom's makeup slash meditation room because that's the only place I can get the best light. I made this mobile out of hemp. This part right here is bamboo. I have crystals and stones and I also have a ceramic moon more for decoration. I thought it went really well with my whole idea. So I am going to state the properties of each stone, but I'm only stating the properties in which it regards to sleep because this is a sleep mobile. So let's get started because I don't want to ramble on forever. First we're going to start with amethyst, this stone right here. Amethyst helps prevent nightmares, it's good for insomnia, it helps you have clear dreams, it has a very strong calming effect and can protect against psychic attack. The next stone I have is hematite. I'll try to keep my hands still here. Sorry. Hematite helps you fall asleep faster and helps you wake up feeling revitalized. It also helps reduce headaches, pain, and stress, which is especially good for when you're trying to fall asleep. Next, we're going to look at Snowflake Obsidian. Snowflake Obsidian is um, it's very good for sleep. It's a very calming stone, and it also can help balance the mind, body, and spirit. Howlite, we will look at next. The little stone in there. Howlite can come in many different colors, so if you have one that doesn't look like this, that's fine. It's usually artificially dyed. I'm not really sure if this one is or not. Howlite is good for insomnia and especially good for an overactive mind when you're trying to fall asleep. Um, it's good for those seeking calmness and can have a link to spiritual dimensions. This little stone, where is it? This one is Smoky Quartz. Smoky quartz is good for grounding and draining out negative energies. It can help you understand the significance of dreams and take away fear and low spirits. This right here, I don't know if you can see, this is ritulated quartz. I think that's how you say it. You can't really see with my camera, but it has little strands of, looks like copper wiring in it. So, ritulated quartz. It relieves depression, anxiety, and it's believed to help you sleep better. It brings you into a greater alignment. Something that I don't have on here yet, but I'm planning to put on, is a rose quartz on top. Because everyone needs a little bit of love all the time, but especially when you're sleeping. But rose quartz is also good for pain of the past that comes up in dreams. It can help you deal with that, like pain that you don't even know about from your past lives. And also, it has a very peaceful and calming energy to it. So obviously that does really good when you're sleeping. Next, we are going to look at Lepidolite. I think that's how you say it. It's a very fragile stone, so I just glued a little piece to the inside here. It's kind of a purplish color, and it flakes off really easily, so you kind of have to be careful with it. It helps with emotional balance. It's very calm and relaxing, and it releases stress and worry. So if you're trying to fall asleep and you're worried or stressed about something, this is a good stone to have. Next, we are going to look at Tiger's Eye. This one right here kind of looks like a tiger tooth. Tiger's Eye promotes balance and strength to get through difficult times. It aids sleep and night visions. 
The last stone we're going to look at that I have is bloodstone. Bloodstone banishes negativity and it stimulates dreaming and it also has a powerful revitalizing effect for when you wake up. So, this is my sleep mobile. Obviously you guys don't have to use the same stones that I do, but these are the ones I chose to use. These stones also have many other properties that I didn't name, I was just naming the ones that regard to sleep. You could also make a mobile for other other things that you want, like spirituality or love. You can change up the stones, you can change up what kind of little pendant you have here. You could have a pentacle, uh, you could have a cross, you could have anything that applies to your religion or what you think would look best. So this is my sleep mobile. I hope everyone enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, just give me a shout.